There's a planet so far away, it takes light 635 years to reach it, and yet, everything about it feels eerily familiar. Kepler-22b shouldn't exist, but it does, and it might be hiding something extraordinary. A world where day never ends, oceans might stretch for thousands of miles, and gravity could crush a human in seconds. Could this be humanity's second home, or the ultimate cosmic trap? In this video, we'll uncover what scientists have discovered, what life could look like there, and why this alien world might rewrite everything we know about the universe. Somewhere in the endless night of space, there's a world that defies logic, a planet so strange, so perfectly positioned, that scientists once thought it could be another Earth. Its name is Kepler-22b, a planet larger than ours, orbiting a distant star in just the right zone where life could exist. Not too hot, not too cold, the so-called Goldilocks zone. But here's the twist. Everything we learn about it raises more questions than answers. Could its oceans be hiding alien life? Could its gravity crush a human in seconds? And what if the planet never sees a sunrise or a sunset? Kepler-22b may hold the key to understanding life beyond Earth. Or it could be a cosmic illusion, beautiful, deadly, and utterly unreachable. In 2009, NASA launched a space telescope with a single mission to find other Earths. Not gas giants or frozen wastelands, but rocky planets in the habitable zones of distant stars, where water might exist and life might thrive. That telescope was called Kepler, and it scanned the skies for over 150,000 stars, searching for tiny dips in brightness, signs that something was passing in front of them. In 2011, it found something strange. A large, mysterious planet orbiting a sun-like star 635 light-years from Earth. Every 290 days, the star dimmed just a little like clockwork. The data told a story. A massive planet, about 2.4 times the size of Earth, was circling this star locked in a nearly perfect orbit. This was no gas giant. It was something else, something eerily familiar. Scientists named it Kepler-22b, and it immediately became one of the most intriguing candidates for alien life ever discovered. The planet orbits a G-type star, very similar to our Sun, but slightly cooler and 25% dimmer. This means that even though Kepler-22b is about 15% closer to its star than Earth is to ours, it still receives almost the same amount of energy. That's why Kepler-22b falls right into the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, just right for life. But here's the thing. Size alone doesn't guarantee habitability. And the more we dig into the numbers, the more alien this Earth twin begins to look. On paper, Kepler-22b looks perfect, but planets don't exist on paper. What if the surface is locked in eternal sunlight? or shrouded in a frozen, endless night. In the next chapter, we'll uncover what conditions actually exist on Kepler-22b and why it might be one of the most dangerous places in the galaxy. At first glance, Kepler-22b seems like the perfect candidate for life. It's in the habitable zone. It might have water, and it orbits a sun-like star. But if you think that means it's a tropical paradise just waiting to be explored, Think again. This planet is massive, over twice the size of Earth. That alone raises big questions. Does it have a solid surface, or is it an ocean world? Is there land at all? And most importantly, what's the climate like? That depends on one crucial factor, how the planet rotates. You see, some planets, especially those close to their stars, can become tidally locked. That means one side always faces the star, locked in eternal daylight, while the other side remains trapped in permanent night. If Kepler-22b is tidally locked, things could get extreme. On the day side, temperatures might soar. The sun never sets, water could boil, clouds could form a dense, 
permanent cover, and mega storms could rage endlessly. On the night side, it's the opposite a frozen wasteland of shadow and silence. Temperatures could drop below freezing. Oceans, if they exist, might be solid ice. But there's the twist. Between those two extremes lies something truly fascinating. The Terminator Zone's narrow region where day meets night. Here, temperatures could be just right. Warm enough for liquid water, cool enough to avoid a runaway greenhouse effect. It's a place of balance, and maybe, just maybe, the best chance for life to exist in this alien world. But before we dream of a life, we have to ask, what kind of life could possibly survive in a place like this? In a world split between fire and ice, life wouldn't just survive, it would adapt. But how would creatures evolve under eternal sunlight or in total darkness? Up next, we step into the shadows and into the light to explore the strange and speculative life forms that might already be thriving on Kepler-22b. Imagine standing on the sunlit side of Kepler-22b. The sky glows in a constant golden hue. The star never sets. The world is bathed in eternal daylight, but that light comes at a cost. If life exists here, it would have to adapt to a world without night. Plants, if they exist, might evolve to absorb sunlight 24-7, growing fast, thick, and possibly alien in shape. But that much sunlight also means heat. Massive evaporation could lead to dense, towering cloud systems. Thunderstorms unlike anything on Earth, a swirling, never-ending battle between air, water, and radiation. In the chaos, only the most resilient organisms could survive. Creatures with reflective skin, heat-resistant shells, or the ability to regulate their internal temperatures like machines. Now, shift to the other side of the planet, a place of perpetual night. No sunrise, no warmth, no photosynthesis, just a cold, alien silence. But darkness doesn't mean lifelessness. On Earth, we've found entire ecosystems at the bottom of the ocean, places where sunlight never reaches, and yet, life thrives. These creatures survive through chemosynthesis, using chemical reactions instead of sunlight to produce energy. On Kepler-22b's dark side, similar forms could exist. Microscopic organisms living near deep hydrothermal vents, glowing with eerie bioluminescence, Imagine forests of light under a pitch black sky, plants and animals that glow not just to see, but to hunt, to mate, to communicate. And then in the middle of it all, the Terminator Zone, a narrow band of twilight that stretches around the planet, half light, half dark. Here, temperatures are stable, oceans might stay liquid, and energy sources are balanced. It's the most likely place for complex life to emerge. Maybe even intelligent life, if the conditions are just right. But here's the real question. If we ever traveled there, could we survive it? Life might exist on Kepler-22b, but surviving there is another story. What would happen to a human under six times Earth's gravity? Could we even stand, let alone walk? The brutal challenges of colonizing Kepler-22b and the terrifying truth about its gravity. Let's imagine, just for a moment, that humanity makes it. We build the ship, we survive the journey, we land on Kepler-22b, and the very first thing we feel is weight, crushing, unforgiving weight. Scientists estimate that Kepler-22b has a mass up to 36 times that of Earth. Its gravity? Possibly six times stronger than what we are used to. That means if you weigh 150 pounds here, you'd weigh over 900 pounds there. Walking around would feel like dragging a boulder with every step. Standing up could take all your strength. And your spacesuit, that 300-pound piece of gear, now weighs over 1,800 pounds. With a robotic exoskeleton to hold you up, you might collapse the moment you step off the lander. But that's assuming you land on solid ground. 
Kepler 22b might be a water world with an endless, shallow global ocean. If there's land, it could be rare, scattered, and hard to reach. Your first challenge wouldn't just be survival, it'd be finding a place to stand. Then, there's the atmosphere. We hope it's breathable, we hope it protects us from radiation, but we don't know. We could be too thin or too thick, maybe even toxic. And if it lacks a magnetic field, solar winds could strip away any air it has, just like what happened to Mars. In short, living on Kepler 22b would be like running a marathon underwater while wearing a tank on your back on an alien world that doesn't want you there. But while humans may struggle to survive, something else might already be calling this planet home. High gravity, harsh light, eternal darkness, oceans with no end. If life evolved on Kepler 22b, it would be nothing like us. We'll explore how native life forms might look, move, and even think on a planet that seems designed to crush every living thing. If something lives on Kepler 22b, it didn't evolve by chance. It adapted to a world that crushes bones, hides its light, and drowns the weak. Life here would be strange, but also incredibly resilient. Let's start with gravity. On Earth, trees grow tall, birds take flight, and animals run fast. But on Kepler 22b, gravity would drag everything down. Native creatures wouldn't be tall and elegant, they'd be short, wide, and built like tanks. Imagine compact reptilian beings low to the ground with thick limbs and an ultra-dense muscle structure. Their bodies would be designed not just to move, but to withstand. And forget delicate skin, these creatures would need exoskeletons or armor-like shells, not just to protect from predators, but to prevent their own bodies from collapsing under their weight. Their internal organs? Lightly packed tightly, shielded by strong bones or cartilage-like material to resist pressure. Even their eyes, if they have them, could be adapted to low light, intense brightness, depending on which side of the planet they inhabit. On the dark side, evolution might take a weirder turn. Creatures could rely entirely on chemosynthesis, feeding off minerals in the water or geothermal vents. Some might glow in the dark, luminescent beings pulsing with soft light in total blackness. They could use light to attract prey, communicate, or even scare off predators. In the oceans, life might be freer. Water would ease gravity's grip, allowing for larger, more fluid species. Think of alien jellyfish, glowing coral reefs, or even intelligent, squid-like beings capable of navigating deep, endless waters. But if a species ever reached intelligence, would it be curious about the stars? Or would it never even know what light is? After all, entire civilizations could rise and fall on the dark side, never knowing a sun exists. But for now, all of this is just speculation. Because even if these creatures do exist, we may never meet them. Kepler 22b is unimaginably far away, and the journey to reach it? That might be the biggest challenge of all. Let's say Kepler 22b really is a paradise, or a nightmare. Let's say life exists there, or even intelligence. There's still one colossal problem. We may never get there. Kepler 22b is located 635 light years away, that's nearly 6,000 trillion kilometers. To put that into perspective, if Earth were a dot on the map, Kepler 22b would be off the map entirely. The fastest spacecraft humanity has ever built, the Parker Solar Probe, travels at around 430,000 miles per hour. At that speed, it would take us almost a million years to reach Kepler 22b. A million years longer than modern humans have even existed. Even if we somehow developed technology that let us travel at 10% the speed of light, so fast it would melt current spacecraft, it would still take over 6,000 years to arrive. And let's not forget, 
we're talking about a one-way trip. The energy, resources, and time required to send even a single probe that far is beyond anything we've done before. Interstellar travel isn't just hard, it's nearly impossible with today's science. But here's where it gets even more frustrating. Kepler-22b might not even be the best candidate out there. It just happens to be one of the first. And now we're starting to find others, some that are closer, some that might be even better. What if Earth's true twin isn't 600 light years away, but just 20? What if there's a planet out there more perfect than Kepler-22b waiting to be discovered? In the next and final chapter, we explore the most promising exoplanets ever found and the mind-blowing possibilities they hold for the future of humanity. Kepler-22b opened the door, but what lies beyond it is far bigger than anyone expected. Since its discovery, astronomers have found thousands of exoplanets, some massive gas giants, others icy and barren, but a few, a rare few, are starting to look eerily familiar. Take Kepler-452b. Orbiting a star remarkably similar to our Sun, this super-Earth is just 60% larger than our planet. It receives nearly the same amount of energy we do and lies comfortably within its habitable zone. Some scientists have called it Earth's older cousin. Then there's Kepler-186fa, a planet almost exactly the same size as Earth, possibly with liquid water and a stable axial tilt, meaning seasons, just like at home. Kepler-442b goes even further. Based on models of habitability, it scores among the highest of any known planet. With the right atmosphere, it could support a biosphere rich enough to detect from across space. And we're not done. Kepler-1649c was discovered by accident during a data review. It's just right in terms of light and temperature. It's closer in size to Earth than almost any other exoplanet ever found. But here's the wildest part. Many of these planets are still hundreds or even thousands of light years away. Yet now, with missions like TESS and the James Webb Space Telescope, we're discovering new worlds closer than ever before, some just 20 light years from Earth. Planets that could be hiding oceans continents, maybe even life. And if life exists there, are they watching us the same way we're watching them? Somewhere out there, beyond the stars we see at night, there may be oceans we'll never sail, skies we'll never breathe, and beings we'll never meet. But every planet we discover brings us a little closer, not just to them, but to understanding ourselves. Kepler-22b and worlds like it remind us that the universe is vast, mysterious, and full of potential. Maybe we're alone, maybe we're not, but one thing is certain, the search has only just begun. What if the greatest discovery in human history is just a telescope click away? If this story moved you, if it made you look at the night sky a little differently, you're not alone because this is just one chapter in the epic journey of space exploration. Watch this video to find out what new adventure is following next.